because I don't know. Hello, guys, and welcome to Carrier Mode with... Jonathan. My friend. Say hello, Jonathan. Hello. Hello. Okay, <laughs> as you can see, we're playing with... Uh, VFB Stuttgart. Exactly. And, yeah, we have done some things. So we can start off... So we can start off with showing the team we have and uh, we do have uh, a 433 2 formation with Ulrich, Rudiger, Schwab, Klein, Rausch, Didavi, Die, Maxim, Harnik, Ginczek and Werner. We're going to use Ibisevic when he's getting back but he's injured for seven weeks. So yeah, that was it, and then we have also our shortlist, which is done. And here we do have Abate, Cedric, Trash, Lustig, Balanta, Onua, Saul, Wanyama, Fernando, Höger, Bervoin, Musa, Emenike. So that is our shortlist, yeah. And if you have any suggestions for a short, uh, short list, please put them down in the comments. Yeah, that would be lovely. But anyway, let's go. So now we are going to look at which players we are going to sell and which players we are going to loan out. We don't have that much transfer budget and wage budget per week, so we need to sell some players. Uh, this guy has real good potential. But we're not going to, uh, to bring him back in, ca uh, in case we might need it. Uh, we won't need it right now. But if we need it, we're going to bring him back. Just look at his pace. That says it all. Uh, then we do also have Abdelau. Uh, so we have three goalkeepers. These two are the twos we're going to uh, use. Ulreich as the first keeper. Uh, team keeper and Vlasho Dimos as the second team keeper uh, Kirschbaum uh, we are going to keep him in the club in case we are needing a free goalkeepers which we don't hope exactly it can happen if we are unlucky you don't know always then we have some center backs here and we're going to keep Schwab and Rudiger as our first center backs yeah. Uh, on the bench, we are going to have Niedermeyer and Bumgart. Uh, uh, Haji, Haji uh, we are going to sell and bring in a younger and a bit more better centre back. As you can see, his contract is expiring in 12 months, so it's pretty good to sell him right now so we can get some money for him. And he, and he earns a lot in wages. Exactly. So we can get some younger players there, that would be awesome. So this is our first player we're going to take to the transfer list. Uh, I don't think we need three left backs. As you see, we have three left backs. We won't need three. Uh, so I think we are going to loan this guy out for the season. Yeah, he's only 20 years old, so maybe he can become something. We don't know. And here we have the two right backs. This guy is not so good, but the good thing is, this guy can play right back, and he is right footed, but he has a five star weak foot. So Sakai works perfectly for the wing backs. But we're not going to loan him out, I think. No, no. We... Keep him in the club. Uh, then we have some central midfielder. midfielders. Uh, uh, As you can see, Leitner is only on loan, so we won't use him at th that much. He will be like a backup. He's playing for Dortmund, you know. So, uh, yeah. Better give experience to our players than the players we have loaned. Exactly. We have Grezzo, Romeo, Yalcin. I think we're going to loan out uh, Yalcin. He's only 61 rated player, so he hasn't got that much experience. But he is only 20. Exactly. Wow, whoa, we have many left midfielders, really. Uh, Damn. 
Werner is the one we are going to use because he is fast. And he has the perfect potential to become something. He can dribble and he can finish. Yeah. And he can also play as a striker. Yeah, so that's a perfect backup as well. Uh, we are going to keep Kostik because he is the younger and better. I think we are going to maybe loan this guy out or sell him. Yeah, it's better to loan him. He's so young. Uh, Marco. And we are going to sell whole whole how shake something we're going to sell this guy <laughs> oh, he... oh he recently arrived from moo but i if i'm not wrong this guy can play left back yes yeah yeah that's that's good that's good you mean it can be something good after left back and left mid defensive so, player the reason i was uh, fucking uh, talking about bringing back rojas was because the quality of our right mids right now isn't the best. Harnik, we only have Harnik, but what do we have of the backup? I think, I think we can loan this guy out yeah. for experience because we are not going to play him. No. Uh, and if we we need a backup right midfielder and Sarer is playing, maybe we will bring someone from the left side over or we will bring back Rojas. Exactly. And here we have the three strikers. Abdullahi, Ginshek, Ibsevich. Ibsevich is the one we're going to start. But as you have seen on our, our shortlist, we have listed many strikers, which we were going to include Abdullahi in many of them. And hope that uh, some of them go through. And if they don't go through with Abdullahi, we are going to just offer them money. I mean, Abdullahi has great experience, maybe players or teams want him and he can be great to use in deals. So this is the player we're going to loan and go to sell. This is our transfer list. There we have them. We are just going to sell one player and we are going to loan out four. Yeah, and we have 33 players in our team at the moment. So the finances we have got that you work with is 8 million transfer budget and 80,000 weight budget. Not that much, but we can definitely make something happen with it. Yes, I mean it's money to use. And as you can see, as the shortlist, we did watch it before, but we're going to scout the players so we can see how much they have, how good they are, and what they're worth, and things like that. So we're going to scout all of them. We have, uh, we're going to buy a center back, center midfielder, right back, and a striker if we can with the budget we have. So we're going to scout them all. <gasps> and here's the player that we want, uh, that we want the most, Claudio Bevu. Uh, he has great jumping and speed. He has the, uh, he has very good finishing and heading accuracy. But we are, that we are looking at the most is his amazing speed, which is in nineties in pace. If you are thinking about ultimate team, and his uh, jumping, I think, is ninety six or ninety seven. I mean, if you look at the stats, this guy is a real beast. And these two, last one, is just sweaty. Yeah, MNEK and Musa. What more can you expect? So, uh, we are having an, those players here. And now we're going to simulate and until we get back with the, with the scoutings. Yeah. Oh, we have the first transfer offer arriving. Erich Berko. I think this was one of the players we were trying to loan out. Yes, I think it was. And yes, it was. Mordovia Saransk wants want to loan him on a season loan. And we are going to accept it. Way! Bye Berko, see you in a year. Uh, so we have three players with 12 months uh, uh, left on the contract. Haugi is 
uh, one we are going to sell but these two we are going to try uh, uh, Burko is we have just loaned out Leibold uh, we are trying to loan out so to Leibold and Burko we are going to offer new deals and uh, try to hold them at a club for a little bit I mean they are young and uh, hopefully have good potential and they can become something in the future for us so why not give them a new contract Okay, so Berko has uh, declined, but there is something we can do about it. Just offer him a better contract. He wants a bigger role in the team, he said. And he will definitely be better uh, in a year when he comes back. So we can offer him a better job, a uh, role. Definitely. So, uh, we have got the final scout report back on two of the players, uh, Insago Abate and uh, Mikael Lustig. <laughs> so, here we have Lustig, uh, 75 rated, 82 heading accuracy, is a very tall player, as you see, 6 uh, foot 3. He's playing for Celtic at the moment, uh, so maybe he wants to join us. I mean, he has experience and he has some class. He's pretty average, uh, decent player. Uh, here you can see his stats. It's not that best. It's not the best speed in the world. But as you uh, as you see, he can play as a centre back, which we might need him to do. And he is very tall. He can head the ball, and he is very good at crossing as well. Yeah. So we're going to put in an uh, offer to them off two. Point uh, two uh, five million, and see what they get back to us with. It's a good start, so we can get a lower bin or a lower price for him. In Sago Abate, uh, is the complete opposite to uh, Mikael Lustig. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speed, speed, and speed. Pace, pace, pace everywhere. I mean. He's see. a silver right now on Ultimate Team and he's really expensive just because his pace. He's 75 rated overall at the carrier mode because he has been upgraded and just say... Take some seconds to look at his pace. And stamina. Boom. That's really good. Uh, he's not that good as uh, Lustig to cross the ball, but... When we get down the wing, we can just cut inside and play a short ball into them. FIFA is about pace, and he has got it. Um, so, we are going to put in... Around 1.5 million pounds for Ignacio Abate. So, that's a good start. So, there we go. Submit offer. So... There we go. We are... Looking that Mikko Lustig is in talks with Bayer Leverkusen. Bayer Leverkusen 1 versus Via by Stuttgart in the weekend with 4 0. That's just a um, fact. Uh, so we are not going to care about Lustig that much because uh, they said no to us because they are offer, they, Bayer Leverkusen offered more than we want to. I mean, we do have a bot, eh? So we are going to offer 2 million blank on Abate. That's also a great sum for him. Uh, so, as you see, we have got almost all the players, if not, not everyone, back from uh, on the scout reports. So we are going to go through them one by one. We have Victor Waniyama, okay, pretty good player, 76 rated overall, 23 years old, plays for Southampton at the moment. Look at these stats, they're really good. Strength, aggression, stamina, shot power, stand cycle, jumping, it's pretty good. So we're going to give him around, he's worth around 5.2 to 6.7, so let's give him around 4 million to start. Yeah, maybe. 4 million, there we go, first player done. We're going to, uh, in the strikers at least, offer... Uh, Abdullah, uh, but maybe we will include some players in the other deals as well. So, Nedem Onua is a pretty good player with pace. He's worth around 2.7, so let's give him 2.1. That's good. Uh, so, we have 
Uh, Emmanuel Emenike. The beast himself. Uh, he has been downgraded a lot from his ultimate team, 80 rated. 276, that's minus 4, but, but he's still a good player. I mean, look at that stat. Pace and uh, strength, he has still got it. He can also play as a right winger as his saw. He's playing for Fenerbahce at the moment. Very good shot power, very uh, decent finishing as well. Mm. That's about it. Uh, and here you see that the Sheik Executive uh, says the team is short of players in this position. We'll have to make a great offer in order to get them. When they have shorter players, we can offer. Uh, uh, what is his name? Abdullah. Abdullah. Uh, so maybe they will take it because they get an, a replacement direct. Exactly. There we go. I'm an EK done. Now it's Ahmed Musa. Also a beast. I mean, everyone's using him and Ibarbo. Ibarbo Dumbia. Him and Dumbia in a team, but now he has joined Roma. But Musa is still playing there. Uh, they say that he has a lot of potential, so they want more for him. But we are going to offer the same as we did for Emenike. 2 million plus Abdullah. Both are 75 rated overall, so that's also a good replacement to give Abdullah. Maybe not as much speed, but still. A good player. Then we go with the Shakhtar Donetsk player, Fernando, 76 rated of lot, 22 years old. So we're going to, as you can see, he has potential, as they say, and they want much. We're going to give him around 2.5, what do you think? Yeah, that's pretty good. There we go. And we do have Eder Alvarez Valente, the center back, I mean, he has got pace and he is young and good too. He has potential but he is not playing in the best league. So he might want to join because he comes to Europe and one of the best leagues in the world. Exactly. So let's give him 2.5 around that. Uh, here we got Cedric. Uh, the Sporting Lisbon center back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, um, so we have Cedric, the Sporting Lisbon right back. Uh, good stamina, good speed, good at crossing, good shot power. The uh, usual for uh, uh, wing backs in that league. They uh, say he's one of the key players, but we're going to offer three million. Yeah, that's probably good. So here we got him, Claudio Berwu. Uh, as you can see by his stats, mm. boom! That is awesome stats. Really good stats. I mean, just look at them. Boom! Not, not maybe, maybe not the strongest player, but still he has got the pace to get uh, away from them. And also some good jumping and uh, heading accuracy, pretty decent finishing and good dribbling as well. Uh, we are going to offer them the same as we did for the two other players. 2 million plus Abdullah. Next player though is Mustafa Sol, a pretty strong center back. So he's playing for Saint Etienne in the French league at the moment. Let's give him what do you two think? players, uh, two million plus uh, Howie. Yeah, that's good. Two million plus where are you? Yeah, we got him. Next player though. Is Marco Hager. You're Spanish, you can't say Hager. <laughs> He's got good stamina, good shot power, and good aggression as well with interceptions, reaction, and short passing. 
He's worth pretty much, and he's got pretty good rating as well. Let's give him around 2.5 at this point. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, maybe a little bit more. 4.25 4. 4. maybe. Yeah, okay. Let's give him 4.25. There we go. And the last player that we have got back from is Christian Trash. The guy is playing for VFL Wolfsburg at the moment. He has just 12 months on his contract. Uh, so maybe we'll get him for cheap. They don't say any price, but we are going to offer 2 million. Yeah. So now we wait and see what they say. Okay, here we go with the transfer offers. They want 8 million to Marco Hager. That's nothing we're going to afford, so I think we're going to stop the offers there. Goodbye, Marco. Then we go with Beavu, and they want 5.7 for him. So we're going to offer a bit more because we want him. Let's say 4. Yeah. Four plus Abdelwa. Then we have Cedric. They rejected. So let's take some more. We can get a bot. Yeah. Okay. As you will see a bit later, we have got to accept the accept. I can as. As you can see here down below, we have got an accepted offer from Ignacio Ibate. So let's say goodbye to Cedric. And here we go with Balanta. Okay, Balanta, they didn't want, they want more. Let's say 3.5 or 4.5? 3.5. 3 3.5, there we go. Then we have CSK, CSKA Moscow with... 6.2 plus Musa. What do we say about that? Four. Four. Four million blank. Now we have MNK. They want 5.2. Let's say four as well. So. Then we have QPR with Onua. They rejected. Onua is slow. Uh, oh! We got that mail a bit earlier because he have, has joined. Burnley, we won. Uh, we did. Uh, I don't think we're going to include that in the video because we have got loads of other centre backs on the short list as we can get. Yeah. Then we have one Yama. They want six point five for him. Look if we can uh, include a player in this game. Yeah. Let's see. If we can get Die or maybe maybe offer Die again. Yeah. Let's offer Die. Yeah. And if Please that don't hold. work, we are going to offer Genther, I think. Yeah. And then we have Abate. So let's offer him 60,000. Clean cheap bonus on nothing. nothing. And we have three years. Please. He's going to be a crucial first team player or important. Let's say crucial. crucial. Submit off. Then we have Fernando Schachter, the next player they rejected for him. Let's go for him as a backup instead of. Wanyama, but Wanyama is the main man. Let's offer 4.5. Uh, 4 million. 4 million blank. There we go. Yeah, you said for me, hit that. Yeah, we did. Now we open it in the middle. Blank, that's what I'm saying. There we go. Transfer offer um, on Hajid. It's Werder Bremen. And we're going to take it because we need a cash in Vegas. Bye, Haji. Karim Haji. 30 years old, 71 rated player center back. He has been good for us. I mean, he has done so much. No, I'm just joking. Yes, that, that was funny. Huh? Then we have Biavu. <laughs> okay, then we have Biavu. They said accepted the offer we gave them. So let's give him 60,000 pounds per week. And three years. <coughs> and a crucial first team player as well. Yeah. 
Suck me tougher. Sorry for the coughing, by the way. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> then we have River Plate. They said no about the bid on Valenta. Let's see. I think it's going to be a bit expensive, but we may as well try. Yeah, we may try, but he's pretty expensive. Okay, then we go here. Transfer off accepted on Musa. That's interesting. <clears throat> Let's give him no bonus per goal, four years, crucial. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And last player, contract offer declined because he loves to live there. And he wants more money. Exactly. So uh, let's offer him 80,000. 80,000. And don't worry about the wages because uh, we haven't sold how G we get to it, I think. And Abdullah is involved in the deal, so he will make way for the uh, the striker's wage. Yeah, Haji is sold. Bang. Okay, goodbye, Haji. And then we have Mustafa sold. They said no about him because they want more money. Let's say four. Yeah. Four is perfect. Then we go with the new player. New player. The other offer is Fenerbahce and they want 5.2 for MK, that's pretty expensive, but maybe we can give that. No, I think we have Babu and Musa already, so we Let's might... say goodbye to MK. Bye! Last player though is Wanyama, they said yes to... Uh... 4 million plus, so you die. Yeah, that's good. Let's give him 40,000 there. 4 years, he's a crucial first in player, I think. Yes, he is. There we go! Uh, we have already got one Yama, as you see we got rejected by Shakhtar Donetsk, so we got just going to ignore it. Bye Fernando. Then we have a transfer offer on Abdelau. Uh, we, it's Monaco, wow. Um, Money makers. He is involved in the other deal, so we are going to re reject it uh, for now. Exactly, we need other players, we can't sell him right now. Then, he's a top player at his current club, so he doesn't feel this move suits him. So we're going to offer him more money! Money, 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 money. There we go, Beavu. Come on, say yes. And then we have... And there Alvarez Valenta who says no. And I think we are going to look for other centre backs or get some new uh, stuff as soul. Exactly, he's so expensive, Valenta. Contract offer accepted on Musa. Now the question is: Is we go? Are we going to take Musa or Beavu? Uh, we stole Musa for now and see what Beavu says about the new contract. Yeah, that's. It's good. I'll, he's not living there, so he wants more money. Money, 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 money. Uh, 60k, I think. 60. Uh, 550 maybe. 60 yeah, 50. Yeah, 50,000 pounds. That's good. 20% per goal. Okay, okay. We will get some goal scoring experience. Give him 80,000. This so offer him 80 plus 20%. 80 plus 20% per goal. For a clean sheet and crucial first team player. Boom! Then we go with Beavu. He said yes. So we do have both Beavu and Musa. In my opinion, I would like to have Beavu more than Musa. Because Beavu. In my opinion, too, but is he worth 40,000 more? And five years older, but just two ratings higher. Yeah, that's true. Musa has better potential and is a beast. Maybe we should take Musa, though. Hmm. Uh, just let us take a few moments to think about this. Yeah, we take Musa. After some discussions, we have decided to go with Ahmed Musa. So we are going to reject Claudio Beavu just because he was double the wages of Ahmed Musa and they are, Ahmed Musa has better potential. That's all. Bye Beavu. And hello Ahmed Musa. Welcome to VFB Stuttgart. Enjoy.
And then we also have Mustafa Soul, which said that the transfer offer was unacceptable. Let's give him, what do we say? Oh, we don't have the money. Vanjama. Uh, yes, we just want to see, uh, take a few seconds to say, see which uh, position we need most, uh, center back or uh, CDM. After a few looks in the team, we have decided that we will go with Sal, and for because we because we have a few CDMs, Romero, uh, Dai, Gintner in the team, so uh, we won't need a CDM as much as we need a centre back. Uh, we uh, are going to need to adjust the wage budget a little bit. Yes. Offer six. Let's offer six million for Mustafa Sal. Ghetto. <laughs> uh, so now we are going to put Musa in the team. Welcome. Musa! 95 acceleration, 92 sprint speed, just an all round good player, 75 finishing, 84 dribbling, and the all important, Borstar skill moves. And we both have tried him on foot, and we know he's a beast. And this is what we did with the CDM. We put Gentner there instead of Dai, because if you compare them, yes, we just did. Gentner is better in every single defensive stat that is important. And he's a better playmaker as well. Uh, so, me and Oliver just forgot that we have Abate to deal with as well. But we have Sakai and we have Klein there as well. So we're going to reject both these players. There we have... Wanyama rejected, and here we have Abate rejected, just so we can get Sal. And that is something you're going to see in the next episode, because the video, I think, and we think, are go having to be very long in this first episode, so sorry for that if it's too long. Hopefully you have stayed the whole episode. Give a like button if you have, hit the like button if you have. Comment down below with which players you want us to buy if we have uh, wage budget over to loan except uh, to loan is the best we can do right now. I promise you we will do what you say in the comments down below or we will try to do it. Yeah, try. But, but hope you like this episode, guys. And is there anything you want to say, Jonathan? Nope. Then we just say one, two, three. Bye! Bye.